Hello, Sandra Embleton here. I'm getting a lot of information today, so let's go. And if, I apologize if I'm speaking too quickly, but it's pouring out of me and I'll do my best to ground and connect and connect all that I'm receiving and down and so we can anchor it into the earth, into the now, into the present moment in time. In order to do this, we're gonna need some help. I'm gonna to have to surrender my voice, myself, my body, my antenna over to that of the Lord. Mother, Father, God, I invite you in. Bring in your holy presence. Bring the light and the love of Christ Jesus, the Holy Grail, the divine spirit and the spirit of truth. And thank you for this information for mankind as we awaken and we receive direction. Okay, so the quick thing I heard was, always reduce things down to the sim simplicity, to the simplest form, to lowest common denominator. And when you do that, it all comes down into the one, and you're the one. So you represent the one, and your conscious awareness as you move into greater consciousness is your consciousness and your experience in the now moment as a representative of the one of all of us. So when you step into that leadership role, that uh, uh, antenna, that voice that says, <clears throat> I'm going to allow myself to be used for the greater good, you become that non-person, you release judgment, you don't worry what people will think, you, your, your main focus is um, how to be great, how to walk that hero's journey, how to move into those times when the veil was thin and we as, 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 a, as a race, as a species, moved into the mystical, magical uh, times, such as Camelot. And Camelot is here and now. It is revisiting us here and now. And those people, those souls that were present are coming forward now and presenting themselves to us. But how can we recognize them? Oh, you will. You will because you'll hear it. You'll hear it on your inner. You'll, you'll recognize the energy and then you'll start, as the consciousness lifts and as it awakens us, we'll start to remember who not only we are, but who others are too. But there's the secret right there, is that the task at hand is to remembering who you are as you walk in eternity. Now, how can you do that? <sighs> Clues and signs will be sent to you um, as, to, as to your true identity. And when you surrender, uh, trying to control the chaos that's ensuing on the earth. When you say, oh, look, I can't affect it. I can't, I don't know how to change it. It's happening. But move into the thought and accept it that it's meant to. And this is all happening because it's, a, it's meant to happen. And we are watching it happen. And in that process, we are um, moving into a higher and greater consciousness. And so when you can find the thought thread, when you can find the idea or hear the thought, it depends on you. It depends on you. You're that important that you wake up, that you realize who you are and then be who it is that you are in those eternal realms. And when you surrender into that beingness, you uh, can come forward with confidence because you've collected knowledge that says, I'm a star seed and I'm here from the future and I'm meant to help. And um, I'm just wondering when they're saying that as we reach three and five dimensions that the uh, aliens, the, the, the guides, uh, the other galactic beings that have been here all along, you'll be able to see them. I wonder if we actually physically transform into them and and the body that we're showing now um, starts to fade and that galactic being comes forward. Maybe that's how um, the beings have walked among us and gone unrecognized. Maybe this is part of the recognition. 
But then there's also being the thought that the um, beings and the galactic beings and other Palladians and people who are here to help us, our, our ancestors, our, um, the ancients are all here with us and maybe they will then manifest in front of us, beside us, around us. Um, we'll sit have, having a, we'll sit having a conversation with someone in the park or, or getting a coffee, and then you'll hear the whisper the name of Siddhartha, or you'll hear a whisper of the uh, of a name of um, Sitting Bull, or Cochise, or you'll hear uh, um, Galileo, or, or 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 you'll hear you'll just get a feeling that you've known them, and you and you maybe potatoes, maybe you grew potatoes. Uh, in a past life together, and that's where you connected with them. You, we're going to have our connections with one another um, be be revealed to us, and so um, the, those beings that are meant to connect at this time are going to start to feel a pull to one another. Now, I'm talking about twin flames here, and why it's important uh, is this. Okay, I'm going to share my work with you. And this is my thesis. This is what I believe. The solar flash will occur when the vibration energy, that is love, becomes so big, so wow, 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 like we're radiating love. And the twin flames, the twin flame towers, the, 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 male, the whole light that was separated to male and female, that came from the one, the male and the female, representing Isis, Ra, and God is El. When the twin flames start to come together and come into union and invite God in, what we're doing is we're recreating the state of Israel, and that, we are told, is God's chosen people. Not, not geographically, not a certain group of religious beliefs, but those souls that are to come together in oneness with God. That's the twin flame journey, to be the male, to be the female, and that energy, when you meet at this time, all of a sudden there's a feeling of, oh, am I ever connected to this person? Do I ever feel an attraction to this person? Why is this person just shown up in my life? And now all of a sudden, uh, you know, within, you know, a very short time, I'm like, ooh, got to be around them, got to see them, got to want to connect with them. Why, why, why? That's an indication that you're meant to come together into the oneness with that person, that soul that is coming to you at this time. The power of it is, is that the twin flame connection above all connections is the connection with source, with God. And this is the, I want to say, it catapults us into that vibrational frequency, into the frequency that we, have, we lift the vibrational frequency of the planet over 10%, and we move into the state of oneness with creator. We move into our, our, we access who we are in eternity, in our eternal realm. So that this coming together in, in the physical, together in sexual union, you come together, you invite God in, and now we become the people of Israel. We, be, we become the people of Israel. We're going to... Let's just write it down. Isis, Ra, and L. So this is woman, woman, man, and God. And being in this state of oneness is the, is the twin flame. You're coming back to source. You're coming back to your whole self because you and your twin what were once one and then you were divided. So the twin flame is the reunification of the male and the female into one, one body, into one body. And with, then you access this God comes down, God comes down and joins you. And now you become transmitters of love. You become machines of love making energy. So 
that lovemaking energy that's going to start on the planet. This attraction is happening. The magnetic pull for the twin flames is happening now. I'm going to just write that down because this is important not only to see, but to, um, to, 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 to understand, okay? So when you're in the moment of now, okay, and this is the only moment that we can be in at this time, because it's in the now that it's happening. And if all timelines, past, uh, present, and future are occurring now, then we have to stay here now to, to, to have it all come to us, right? So our future selves, our past selves, and our pre can only come together in our present selves, selves in the now, okay? So we're in the present, in the now, and now we can connect with our whole self with our whole soul now here's the trick all right you you feel this energy and do not judge the package or the the body in which it comes to you it's an illusion the body and the physical are an illusion you go with your energy pull. You go with your thoughts. You start thinking about them and thinking about them and thinking about them. And your energy pull is like, I've got to be around them. I've got to be around them. I've got to familiarize myself with this person because I'm feeling an, an, an unbelievable attraction. And all my judgments of race, color, creed, um, uh, religion, and, 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 and um, age, all these things, they, they don't matter because the energy so strong between you, you can't ignore it. And you start thinking of them, you start wanting to be with them, and you just, all of a sudden, I, you know, I, gotta, I can't pull myself away from them in, in my body, my mind, and my thoughts. That's, that's your twin flame making an appearance, okay? That's what it looks like, and that's how it feels. And it's happening now, okay? It's happening now. I believe, I, I'm going to write it down. This is my, my work, and this is what I've been hearing, okay? July 28th. July 28th, 2022, we're going to ignite the solar flare, the solar flash. This is the date of the solar flash. We will create a union, a union of souls, a union, a union of, of, of parts I'm hearing. A union of, of male and female, the coming together, the male and the female, without, like, we're not going to fight amongst each other anymore. We're not going to treat each other like sexual objects anymore. We're not going to demean one another anymore. We are going to see our soul worth, our soul value. And our soul worth and soul value, our soul value is that we are God's creation. We're, we are created. So we are created to become one with creator because that's where we came from. So our energy output will increase from now until July 28th, where it will culminate in the solar flash. Now I'm very confident in this and because it's happening for me. So I'm very confident I'm experiencing this in the now time. So I'm sharing with you, all you twin flames out there, um, be alerted, be aware, and let's all begin now to create and allow that possibility for this solar flash to occur this July 28th, 2022. It, the date was given to me and, um, you know, I didn't, I, I just heard it. So, um, spirit, spirit told me the date. So let's go with that. I'm not going to argue with it. I'm not going to make it um, something that it's not. But uh, be in the awareness that from now until July 28th, our energy is going to start lifting to love. And that magnetic pull, the magnetic shift of the planet, the magnetic shift of the planet is changing such that it is drawing to you your opposite. It is drawing to you your, your counterpart. It is pulling to you the other pole. The, and, and so the pole shift actually is the result of the magnetic force, the magnetic field is beginning to draw to itself itself. 
And when they join in physical reunion, this build up, 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 up until July 28th, on July 28th, this attractive, this powerful is going to connect and then it's going to boom. It's going to send all the energy of love out onto the planet and that vibrational frequency of love onto the planet will bring about that flash, that change of consciousness, that shift of consciousness, that there's so much love energy being pumped out of the twin flames and the people on planet Earth. There's so much love being pumped out that will boom and we'll create it. And that's why they don't know when it's going to be. That's why they cannot predict the day of the solar flash is because it, it, they're waiting on us. They're waiting on us to create it. So this idea, this plan, this, it's not just a plan, it's happening. Tune into how you're feeling. Tune into who's being drawn to you. If you're not, you, you, are, you are being guided to come together in physical union on July 28th and pump out love frequency into the planet and, and uh, do the best you can. Because you really, if you really want to help, uh, it's not painting another sign. It's it, it right now. It's 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 not making another video. It's action. Bring bring your awareness and put it into action. Like the whole world depends on you doing it. Why? Because when you take on the, you're not pushing the responsibility on somebody else, and you're saying. It's up to me to make this solar flash happen. It's up to me to, um, to, to find my twin, to vibrate to the person I'm being drawn to, to create that love energy on the planet and to start pumping it out more and more and more. And it depends on me. When you realize that you're important, that, it, it, that you're, it's you, because when you bring it in and you say it's up to me, what you're saying is, I will act as the one. I will lose myself, my identity, and I will act as the one for humankind, for mankind. I will follow this frequency. I will follow this magnetic pull to my twin flame partner, to the person I'm being drawn to, to unite with, to create love energy. And this is why the whole twin flame phenomenon is occurring, and this is the result of it. Solar flash, twin flames, you're going to lift us all up into higher consciousness. You're going to take us up to 4 or 5D. And that's why you're here. Good luck on your mission, Phelps, should you decide to accept it.